Welcome to this Segway Communications web account tutorial video for the Mailbox Settings page. Once you're logged into your web account, you can access the Mailbox Settings page by selecting this quick link here, going to the menu and selecting Mailbox Settings and then Mailbox Settings from the submenu, or selecting the Settings icon from the left hand sidebar. From the Mailbox Settings page, you can access the packages under your account and manage various settings for each package. To begin, use the Choose Package drop-down to select the package you wish to manage. Under each package entry, you'll find the rate of the package here. You can also see the date the package was started, the next billing date, and the billing cycle. In addition, you'll have links to download the setup instructions for the package or email setup instructions. Next, you'll notice a list of mailboxes belonging to the package. To edit a particular mailbox, simply select the edit link for the desired box. The mailbox will then expand, giving you access to edit a variety of settings, including the time zone of the mailbox, the mailbox passcode, the name of the box, if you have find me or follow me call forwarding, the on hold message that will play while your calls are transferred the delivery emails for your voicemail and or fax messages, as well as various other settings including dial by name directory entry and your forwarding number if you have follow me or find me. Depending upon your type of service, certain fields may or may not be applicable. Next, let's review several of the edit fields in further detail. First, if your mailbox has call forwarding, the Call Transfer On Hold Message field is where you can manage what your callers will hear while a call is being forwarded. If you only want callers to hear rings while your calls are being forwarded, leave this box unchecked. However, check this box if you would like to use your own custom On Hold message where you can upload a file of your own, or if you would like to use a music selection from our On Hold Music Library. Our entire library can be found and previewed here. When you're done updating your on hold settings, be sure to select update. Second, let's review the email delivery fields, where you can manage the email address to which voicemail and or fax messages are delivered. Once you open this page, you will see the current entries for voicemail or fax notification on your mailbox. To edit an entry, simply click the edit icon. From the pop-up window, you can manage the email address to which the voicemail or faxes are sent, the subject line that will appear on the email, whether the voicemail or fax document is attached, as well as what type of messages you want delivered. You can choose to have both normal and urgent messages delivered, or just one or the other. When you're finished updating your settings, be sure to select the Save button. Notice that you can toggle between voicemail notifications and fax notification settings using the tabs at the top of the page. When you're done updating email settings, select Return to Mailbox Settings. If your mailbox has Find Me or Follow Me call forwarding, you will have an edit field where you can manage your call forwarding number. When you open the field, be sure to enter the number in 10-digit format only, with no one in front and no parentheses around the area code. You can enter the number with dashes or without dashes. When you are done editing a mailbox, simply click the mailbox title bar to hide that mailbox's settings. You can then edit the settings of additional mailboxes, and you can also see all mailbox settings for all boxes by selecting the See All Mailbox Settings button. All mailboxes will expand to Full Settings view. To hide all mailbox settings, simply click the button at the top again. For each mailbox, you'll also notice a link to Add Features to the Mailbox. Furthermore, if you have an auto attendant with sub-extensions, you'll notice an option to add a direct dial number to any extension. If you need to make extensive programming changes to any mailbox or package, please contact customer service for assistance. Many settings can be managed through this page. However, there are certain features and mailbox configurations that must be provisioned by our technical support department. 
In addition, please note that depending on your access level, you may or may not have access to all mailboxes and or packages under your account. If you have questions regarding your access level, please contact your account administrator or our customer service department. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.